What's up guys? Coming to you from the subcool garage. Just showing you a little something I've been working on. Uh, a little test instrument, a uh, signal generator. So I decided uh, after dealing with energy management all these years and at their mercy of providing me a signal, I decided I'm gonna make my own signal generator. So I just ordered this little cheap box off of uh, Amazon. It was less than 30 bucks and uh, used those uh, useless DeWalt 2 amp battery that they uh, provide you when you buy a, a kit and they're good for about 60 seconds or so of runtime. So uh, I think I'm going to put it to use here. As you can see, I've um, I wired in, it comes with just the box and the signal generator. Um, I took this switch here which um let's see if i can find them my son actually ordered all these things but yeah that's the uh part number so they're basically used for i don't know automotive and stuff that's what he was using it for switches on his truck so i decided i'm gonna wire that in so that i have a way to control uh power to it when it's plugged into the battery so it kind of uh, looks like a explosive device here but it's not so as you can see it zeroes out whenever you turn the power back on and we can run it up and I've got my 0 to 10 volts and it will peg out at 10 it stays right there and if you want to clear it, just push the button and it goes back to zero and you can start all over again. And it will do milliamps. So let's set that on, let's take this off first. So it'll do four to 20. So we switched that button there. <coughs> Get four and you run her up too. All the way to our 20. So I think it'll come in handy, uh, especially when I'm trying to troubleshoot those uh, pesky Belimo valves and drives. Uh, we can uh, make our own signal now and uh, put these useless batteries to use. And I um, always have those on the truck and easy to charge. I mean, it's not the most compact thing, but it's handy. It'll work. And that is the information off of it. So, and again, this will clear out too. And you're back to four. So, all right, so there it is separated. Oh, and all this is here as a Power Wheels adapter. So if you want to make your kids power wheels run off of the Walt batteries and you got it and I just wired it in there so that you could still take that apart in case you wanted to use another like a 24 volt uh, supply but this will do 12 to 24 volts DC and um, yeah so you can use if you had a power supply over there you could use it all right so there you go just like that if I could do it one-handed, yes I can. Put the switch. You got power. Pretty cool. Alright, and just so you can see, my input voltage is 20 and a half volts. So it's taking that DC voltage from here, running it through that generator and creating the signals that I want. Fully adjustable. All right, so that's pretty much it. The um, signal generator itself was less than 30 bucks on Amazon. Uh, I think a bag of switches was like 10 bucks. And the Power Wheels adapter, I believe that was under 10 bucks. And, you know, batteries, they come free when you buy the, the kit. So put them to use. All right, so I figured I'd just share that with you guys. Uh, Maybe you'll find it useful, maybe not. 
maybe you can got some more input and ideas i'd love to hear them so anyways i'll put a link to all the parts that i did use um in the description below so you can check it out for yourself thanks guys as always appreciate you watching have a good day